Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to How to Play Horizon. Season 7 is here and this is your first look at gameplay with the brand new legend. Not only am I going to show you every single aspect of her abilities, but I'm going to show you the new hop up uh, that has jumped into the RE45 and the Wingman. I'm going to show you a live look at Olympus here and we are going to talk to you about how to play and how to win as the new legend. So when you jump in on November 4th or whenever you see this guide and start playing, or maybe you played before, you will know exactly Exactly what you need to do to succeed as you can see here starting off crazy with horizon and before we get into the abilities just talking about the map and the location this is solar array one of my favorite landing spots in all of Olympus you can see it's pretty hectic already that top part near the actual top of the solar panel uh, is very contested we're gonna get our re 45 out in just a second do a couple of crouch dives and uh, make sure we finish them off with the vault nice little swap there because the early DPS will do a shield swap as well we don't have much ammo there's one person down inside we're just gonna slide into more cover this will allow us to maybe loot up do they have any healing capabilities we're not sure that's two of them and we know there's at least one more in there and you can see the vault doing a ton of work in this season and this game is gonna be about horizon and of course uh, how you could do a lot of work with her but there's still a creeper somebody lurking outside Halloween's over but they're trying to play those scare tactics and just kind of run in maybe grab some banners and there it is oh my god the hip fire ladies and gentlemen the re45 this is what you want to look at in the new season. I'm telling you, it is fun stuff. And this is part of the reason why. Horizon is the topic of the video, though. And I know you all are so excited. So you know, if you are, let me know what you're excited about in Season 7 the most. I mean, is it, is it this legend? Uh, is it what she brings to the table? And, and speaking of that, let's talk about her passive. Uh, Horizon is a space traveler. She was stuck in space for 87 years. Uh, this is her hometown. Unfortunately, in her story, she actually missed uh, the ability to grow up with her son, who she went on that mission to save this uh, city and planet for uh, in the first place. It's a little bit of that sad irony. It reminds you of Interstellar and that story of you know how you do something to save someone you love, but the fact that you go do it means you can't be with the person that you love. Uh, it really means that she brings a lot of depth as a character, but even as a legend, she brings a lot of depth in the game. She is an offensive legend, and that means that she's going to be able to set up and create opportunities to be aggressive for you and your team. Uh, she is a very strong legend in some of the capacities that other legends can't fill, especially mobility and upwards mobility. But she brings an incredible passive that you may not realize how good it is. It's called Spacewalk, and her passive increases uh, air control and reduces fall impacts with Horizon's custom spacesuit. Now, I know a lot of people say, okay, so what does that mean? Why is that exciting? Why is that better than anything else? Uh, the real reason it's good is because every character when you land, when you jump off a building, when you fall off a building, when you fall off a zip line at the end of a circle, uh, think about it when it's that small ring in high-level competitive play. You drop from high, you drop down, you got your massive shot out. Everybody has a delay. Everybody has uh, a little bit of a camera shake. And there's that quick draw holster as well. I'll talk about the new hop up. You'll see it in action, but we'll explain it right after this passive. The goal for this is to allow Horizon to take advantage of her, her tactical, which will get her in the air. And of course, be utilizing that spacesuit, which she has and she's so accustomed to, to have soft landings. And those landings will help you to be first in fights. You see, you won't have any camera shake. You'll be able to go up and down, use your tactical better than anyone else. And it also means when you throw your tactical to escape or run around a building and someone else follows you, you will have the upper hand as far as landing, turning around, maybe engaging back with them where they will have that stutter. Uh, it is really an underrated passive I think it's going to be incredibly feel good and that's how I felt when playing it it just feels really good to play horizon and we'll talk about how that synergizes with her tactical because it's very important with that uh, it also gives her more air control we'll also talk about that as well because that also is very big for her gravity lift tactical but the quick draw holster you guys just saw that the RE45 is doing damage. I'll be putting out a video that talks all about the weapon changes, so make sure to keep it locked on the channel uh, here because I will be, maybe today or maybe throughout the next couple of days, releasing uh, 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 really my discussion on the meta and every single weapon coming into Apex Legends Season 7, including the changes with the Prowler uh, going out to the Care Package and the R99 coming back in. But the RE45 is, I think, a, a weapon that got buffed last season um, uh, buffed, I think, actually two seasons ago, and now with this new hop-up is in a place to potentially succeed. Uh, I think this quick-draw holster is something that 
I'm going to use on the RA45 quite often, so let's explain what it does. It reduces your hip fire uh, spread, meaning that you are more accurate when you're hip firing on enemies. So when you get up there or that Bangalore is pushing me like she did in that small corridor, it's going to be an even tighter spread. So I can kind of run up with that fast fire rate of the RA45 and not worry about missing too many bullets as long as I stay close and engage with my targets. Uh, this is really helpful in those early skirmishes, and it also helps in increasing your aim down sight speed so you'll aim down sights faster and you'll uh also be able to swap weapons faster and that might be just the biggest one for me i'm a guy who likes to play re45 uh alongside another weapon that i like especially a volt and what's beautiful about this quick uh swap speed which is very noticeable and quick quick ads speed is when you run out of bullets on one weapon you swap to that re45 faster than anyone else who is not having that that hop up and it really gives you an advantage in gunfights and getting that last little shot off um, and this is also going to the wingman and so uh, the skull piercer is back in the loot pool and so players who like the wingman are going to have this decision do I want to go with the heavy hitting headshot skull piercer hop, hop up or do I want to go with the wingman as more of my sidearm you know maybe rock an R99 wingman and am I going to value using the R99 finishing a spray and then swapping over to my wingman and firing it faster and more accurately than my opponent. Will that be my value? Or will those big headshots, maybe those poking headshots from far away while I'm already camped up with my squad waiting for that final ring, will that be more valuable to me? And these are the decisions the hop-up makes. Overall, I think it's great, and I think the RE45 is going to be a weapon that's it's pretty um, valuable in this Season 7. But you guys let me know what you think. You'll see the footage. Um, I, I think it'll prove that uh, it, it can do some work here. Moving on, though, to uh, this area. This is Hammond Labs. You saw me start off at Solar Array, and this is actually an area called Hammond Labs. This is um, one of the more central areas of the map, and if you didn't watch my every explaining all 16 locations, every drop zone, and every loot zone in Apex Legends Season 7 Olympus, go watch that after this video, because you'll have a much better context of how these rotations work and what I'm doing in this gameplay. Uh, this is, I think, one of those areas where I find a little bit troubling if you're getting pushed because um, it reminds me a little bit of Crypto's Tower Room without the mobility. See these windows? You can't actually get out of them. So um, you do have to run a little bit around in a, 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 a circular corridor to be able to get out or go through that very top to skydive into the building. But there's not a lot of ways out um, in terms of height or to really mix it up. So if you get caught, it might be a bad spot. Now here is her tactical. It's gravity lift. It releases the flow of gravity. And and pulls players upwards and uh, allows you to have some air control. But as you'll notice here, even though I'm up at the top, I'm not actually having uh, any kind of uh, mid-air inaccuracy because it almost treats it as if you're on the ground there. And as you can see, the horizon getting absolutely lasered with the vault. There's my ultimate. It's pulling them to the side. They've got to run through it, and it means that they just have nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. The vault needs to be reloaded, and there's the trident. We haven't seen it, but look at the damage coming through the horizon. Gets taken down. The horizon and sets on her or maybe the wormhole the, the gravity pull or whatever she wants to do let's just put it this way in layman's term she did and uh, I have her 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 uh, vehicle now so things are good and as you guys can see a little bit of a look at the ultimate and of course a little bit of a look at the tactical now the tactical is uh, like I mentioned one of those beautiful things about her which gives her mobility it gives her upwards mobility it'll throw you up into the air and after a few seconds maybe about five to ten seconds it will kick you off in the direction that you're facing you can also uh, move yourself backwards and do some really cool maneuvers to avoid or confuse enemies and again with that passive spacewalk you'll be able to land faster and get onto your next play before in enemies who try to do the same and follow you already a huge shot and you can see just right around the trident is a thing that you guys are gonna love to do in season seven somebody can drive it for you and you can have your volt your r99 your r301 on the side and I just cracked that Pathfinder out out of nowhere there are only three squads left and the volt is kicking and as you can see the thermite is about to start blowing here but we've got a grenade trying to come at us I'm just gonna try to push this character but you can see behind us I don't want to get pushed as well the volt hits for about 80 but I'm getting almost downed and so I've got to hide and retreat this is not what we wanted to see especially in the first horizon gameplay uh, if you're a new player here I'm just using this door to help use a shield battery I've got the gold shield so I would have been able to heal up with two shield cells there because it gets double value when you run that gold shield but just playing this door means that they've got to kick it open or they've got to throw a thermite 
well, and it makes it predictable. It also makes me safer if I hide and heal right here. Plus, I have vision, which is one of the most important things. My teammate gets down, the Bangalore smokes, the Gibraltar throws the dome shield, and things are getting interesting here. We don't know where the damage is, but we know it's right on the player 299, and that's going to be the kill. I am the kill leader. Seven kills on the Horizon gameplay, and we somehow make it out of that one. A pretty crazy contest, and these are the things you can expect on Olympus. Riding through with your trident, start shooting somebody, get into the chaos over here at a, you know, a energy depot power grid, and you guys are going to be having a blast. Trust me. Uh, this is Energy Depot, and you guys are going to um, see the zip line that takes you to Rift, which is my favorite POI in this game. Um, obviously not a lot of use for the tactical there, and that's maybe one of those things where you look at Horizon, and unlike a character who's Wraith, maybe in an offensive situation, there's really no time where her tactical isn't valuable, but if you are in these smaller buildings, and if you are trying to hide and play in close cover, uh, Horizon's tactical loses a ton of value. But remember, you could throw it on enemies, you can maybe affect them, you could throw it outside of a door, then close the door, and stay inside it, and they won't really be able to get through that door, right? So that's one thing you can do uh, if you're really smart about it, but it takes a little planning. Her ultimate is called Black Black hole, and you guys saw it in action, but let me explain what it does. You deploy Newt to create a micro black hole that pulls players towards it. Uh, this hole will have a slow gravitational pull. It's not outrageous, but if you stop moving and you are in the radius, it will pull you there. So you have to essentially walk out of it in a straight direction. What it does is it makes your play predictable, and it obviously makes it a lot easier for Horizon to corral and zone. And one of the biggest combos you'll see is we're getting shot from the Rampart team just hiding there ready to go. Um, at the top of one of the buildings on Rift is that people will throw grenades. One of the best combos for, for Horizon right now uh, when you jump in and you start playing is to throw that ultimate, let your teammates know, and throw a grenade. Have it armed and ready or have your teammate who you're queuing with ready to play and throw a grenade as well because they have to move so predictably and there is a certain amount of time it will take them to move from the epicenter to the outside and stop being affected by the pull that most of the time, if you throw a grenade right away, you will hit the them with some form of the damage and you'll be perfectly set up to win we get a nice kill with the vol or at least a down and i'm like it's time to go guys grab the trident and uh i'm taking damage here you'll notice if they shoot the trident a percentage of that damage goes to me but if you shoot the actual character on the trident you will be uh doing damage to them as you saw me do earlier throwing up newt there but it doesn't quite go too far you guys notice that it's not the farthest throw range but it's still going to see pull the vehicle and pull everyone on the far side my lifeline she jumps in and she's ready to go but you know i'm trying to go around the back side i know that they can't run right because of my zoning potentially with that black hole and I'm trying to see can this be the moment will we get our first win in season 7 here the RE45 coming out the quick swap speed and the damage and we are the champion and we have also helped to make you champions as well you guys now know how to play Horizon how to win with Horizon and what that quick draw holster hop up does and the power of the potential you on the RE45 the and the wingman you know all of Horizon's abilities you know tactical and you know uh, strategies around them and how effective they can be in what situations and hopefully you've had some fun watching this gameplay if you guys want more season 7 content keep it locked here leave a like leave a dislike if you didn't subscribe to stay tuned for the channel and hit that notification bell and as always never give up never stop gaming you guys let me know what you think about horizon in the comments below and i'll see you all next time